Sunset chasers, we found the sunset. It's golden hour. And my battery's about to run out, but I got some sunshine on my face. And I took some footage of the sunshine. Oh yeah. Sorry for my horrible out of tune singing. I'm currently reversing up uh, a road in Greenwich, South East London. Um, it was golden hour, which is when the sun is setting. And I decided to quickly come down here, get a few views of the city. And hello, if you don't know already, my name's Benny. And welcome to another... Say stop, talking, hold up, jazz. Jazz. Vlog. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll quite open for you. Oh, sorry. Wicked man. Yeah. Where's the volume, Shereen? Currently, just printing up some new menus. If you don't know already, we run a young green coconut water business and pancake business called Us Coconuts. And we operate in North London and East London. Kind of just been asking you guys what you want to see more. And a lot of the time, you guys actually want to tailor make your pancakes on the stool. So I thought rather than give you a set menu, I give you a menu where you can just go wild and just do your own thing. Before we get into today's vlog, um, I just wanted to kind of mention why we do these vlogs in the first place and one of the main reasons is to draw attention to any cause that we're a part of and at this moment in time we're driving to raise as much awareness and money as possible for a young warrior called Desmina who's suffering from stage 4 neuroblastoma which is a form of cancer so what you can do is please feel free to check out our online store I'll leave the link on the screen right now in the description below and at the end of this vlog and on this online store you can check out our Kevin the Soul Assassin Ross signature line and 100% of the profits from everything that we sell from that signature line goes to Desmina and her family. Now we've also set up an online donations page so please feel free to check that out also I'll leave the screen on this I'll leave the link on the screen right now in the description below and at the end of this vlog and on this page um, this part of our website you can donate money directly to Desmina and her family and hopefully through these means we can drive to raise as much awareness and money as possible for this young warrior because she deserves a break and we're going to keep on pushing through these means through these vlogs through the content that we produce to draw attention to this particular cause so yeah feel free to check that out everybody um i hope you enjoy today's vlog you know anything you have to say about today's vlog or any of the previous vlogs please comment below and let us know what you think so have a blessed day try life us <sighs> These are pizza boxes, some chips, some dessert thing. Uh -huh. Cookies. So I done it like an experiment this uh, weekend. If you've seen the previous vlogs, I basically fast which is nil by mouth, no food, no water, from sunup to sundown every Monday and every Thursday. Because a lot of you guys have been saying to me, oh, okay, you know, you can't fast. You find it difficult to fast. You can never do it. It's not something that you would be able to deprive your body of food and all these types of things. I just wanted to kind of put my mind state in, I suppose, it's not fair me saying that I, 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 it's easy for me to fast. After I, I fast, on a nutritionally dense diet not a calorie a solely calorie dense diet so i ate a whole lot of the junk food over the weekend to basically see how 
most normal people would feel during a nil by mouth fast because you know um i just wanted a point of reference as far as better understanding how these types of foods are destroying our body our functionality our productivity our joy and enjoyment of life Yeah, so pass the mic and let me motivate Movements through the music, get your soul to shake Hold on, wait, claiming you're the sickest And they sold no tapes I can tell you're rookie from you Jump on stage to spit and then your vocals break Today I woke up late I was dreaming, scheming Trying to find some deep meaning Betty the Van is like a perfect, I suppose, like metaphor for my life right now Which is Functional A little bit cracked And being held together with um, Masking tape Yeah, unfortunately, um, sometimes I need to remind myself um, that I'm no longer at the age where I'll be able to bounce off the concrete. I'll uh, actually go splat. <laughs> so I can get carried away when I jump on a bike and start going down big hills and stuff and almost writing myself off. However, um, I'm gonna give you this, guys this um, analogy and formula. So. The pizza, the donuts, all this junk stuff that I was eating, that's gonna be O for um, obstacle. Now, my heart rhythms, my respiratory system, uh, my lymphatic system, all of these things are gonna be P, which is power. And if you saw one of the previous vlogs, you would have seen that we done a whole thing about the fact that your body doesn't need power, it has power. So your life force is your vitality, or your vitality is your life force. And that in this equation will be V, the letter V. So what happens when there's an obstruction in the way of your power, your quality of life and perspective and perception changes because you now have to deal with the obstruction, which is food, which is calorie dense and not nutritionally dense. So what we do is, it's not actually, this is not actually invented by me, I saw it online the other day. It's that V, vitality, quality of life equals your power, your life force, minus your obstruction. So um, I can totally relate to you, uh, to those of you out there that um, say, you know, you can never fast or you can never go, a certain amount of hours without eating because you have no point of reference and by point of reference I mean a point in your life where you started to remove some of the obstructions or obstacles meaning consuming junk so all I can say to you is today is Thursday it's the second time this week that I've actually fasted I've got a lot more energy today. On Monday, I had like a cloudy mind. I felt tired. All I could think about was eating food, you know, you know, agitated easily, feeling sorry for myself, low energy. And today at nine o'clock in the evening, after fasting all day, I jumped on my BMX bike and I almost went over the handlebars by going down a hill. However, the point I'm trying to make is, the, ref the point I'm trying to make is, that energy, that life force is what, is how your body rewards you. So, start, try a little fast, see how you get on. Remove that ob obstacle out of the way. So your body is slightly freer because remember this is the first time probably in a long time we haven't been constantly consuming and as a reward your body will give you life vitality and use that as your reference point moving forward as far as choosing 
what foods to eat feed your body that fuel don't put the, the sand in the gas tank put the fuel in the gas tank and make the most out of this short life that we have try life you have to master your food on the level of that instead of going to the doctor and seeking medicine you should know what to eat to balance your physical needs and spiritual needs and be an asset for anybody that wants to invest in you or collaborate with you that you have the energy you know not to let them down